Shalom Israel, giving honor and praise to the Most High God for the reading and the understanding of his word. And family, I understand that this is still not back to our conventional setting. Why? Because there are still people that's among us that don't belong here. All right. So I'm not going to do anything for anyone that I don't want to work with. And I'm saying that in front of everybody. I, I want, I'm making this here clear tonight. Please understand and hear what I'm saying. I did not prepare a lesson or anything tonight because I'm going to be talking directly from right here. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Okay? So, you guys, for those of you right now, being that I mentioned that statement, you're going to be like, yep, I'm waiting to hear everything that this nigga got to say because he's going to slip up and say something. I'm coming all from right here. So, you can take this video and take it and doctor it and do whatever the hell you want to do with it, whatever you want to go in and look for. And now, family, I'm going to make this... Disclaimer right now, I am going to be talking right here from my heart. So there's going to be some things that's going to be coming out. Now, my speech and everything is going to be pretty unconventional because I'm going to be speaking from right here. There's going to be no filter with me here tonight. I'm just telling you right now. If you thought I didn't have a filter before, this is me just openly talking. And I want to back up why I'm doing this here. So family, please, if you please open your Bibles to the 1611 King James Version Bible with the Apocrypha. And I would like for you to go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 6. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 6. And it reads, But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. But we have been truly made manifest among you in all things. Why am I reading that one right there? Why, family? It's very simple. Because I did something a little unconventional last week. Did a two-part lesson. And the thing about black people, right? We get so comfortable with things. And when there is no law or rhyme or reason, we get set in our ways of comfort. And then when that is disrupted, people go crazy. Because I did a two-part lesson. The first lesson was based on Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Show my people their ways. Show my people the error in their ways. And I did that last week as an example. You see, the way that the American justice system, they have all of you played. Because what the American justice system does is backwards. What they'll do is address the court and then present the evidence. When you do that, you take away the right of the people when you address them first versus present the evidence because you give them all of your nonsense and garbage and then present evidence to them. So that way they have reason to doubt what you give them. So what did I do? I just took it and flipped it. I'll put the evidence in front of you first. <laughs> Don't be mad by what I did. I took all that evidence and put it right in front of you first. And then I made a statement, the statement that nobody, nobody, nobody wanted to pay attention to last week. I said, black people, and I specifically targeted our people. I said, black people don't move unless you tell them. I'll talk about that more at the end of the lesson. That was the main thing that people should have got from last week. Because that was the whole bullet point behind what I was saying last week on Friday night. I was right, wasn't I? But then there's many of you that's going to be like, wait a second, whoa, 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 Mike, because we don't like the way that you spoke to us. So let me do this here because that's what uh, the majority of this lesson is going to be here tonight. So let me go ahead and read that one more time. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 6. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been truly made manifest among you in all things. Why am I repeating that? Let's talk about that. Do y'all remember when I first came on and started talking about the gathering? I did a whole commercial. It was polite as possible. There was absolutely no movement. Made the mention of it again the next week or whatnot, and then there was some movement. It got right to uh, $3,522. That's where it was at. And that's when it was asked politely, and that's where it got, right there. As the Bible says and instructs, that sometimes when you talk to the people, you got to get a little bit rude. 
What happened? And people are mad at me that I do what the Bible says. I had people call me all type of shit last week. I, I was called a thief. <laughs> I was... Y'all heard. Y'all saw everything I was said. Y'all saw all that. I, I was called all those things. First and foremost, because I asked. I asked people to donate and to donate from their heart. That's why I always say donate. To donate. Because when you donate, when I ask you guys to do to donate, it comes directly from here. It comes from your heart. So that is the only discussion that I can have with you. That is what you gave from your heart. I didn't give a number for anybody to give. You gave from your heart. You know what that does? That removes me from your decision making. I say, no, it's up to you. Give from your heart. So from the heart of the royal family came $3,522 that came from the heart. Everything else afterwards, well, I can't say everything else. Let me not say everything else. But a good majority came from black people being told to move. And that is the truth. I presented the evidence to you first so that now when I make that statement, you cannot deny it. The scriptures say the same thing. How did I know to do that? Because that's how the scriptures said our people are. That's how I know this is us. And then what else does the scripture say? What else does the scripture say? <laughs> oh, I hope y'all are ready for this one. I hope y'all are ready for this. See, and this is what happened, like I said, because when, when, when it's unprepared, you know, it's, it, it, it doesn't flow right. And I hate that. But here it is. Matthew chapter 11, Matthew chapter uh, 5, verse 11, excuse me. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Y'all have no idea how happy I am to see that in my life and to know that that happened to me last week because I can sit up here in front of all of you because why the evidence was presented. The evidence was presented. All I've done for the past five years is prove to you guys that I'm for you. That's all I've ever done. Was prove that I was for you. And all of that that I did because I asked our people to do what we were supposed to do in the first place when it comes to the Bible, I got attacked harshly, harshly, and it felt fucking wonderful. It felt so good because I'm just sitting here. I was laughing my ass off. For all of you, you have my permission. For all of you that reached out to me, was talking, when y'all reached out to me, what did I say? I was in there laughing my ass off. And y'all you, can, please, you can put it in the chat. You so that they know I'm not lying. I was enjoying every last bit of it because I'm like, look at all this evidence being told. <laughs> and then look at, I said, look. And I'm just looking up, looking at the father. And it's just a laugh back and forth. He's like, I told you. I told you that's how they are. Y'all have no idea what my prayers be like. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all don't. Y'all have no idea what my prayers be like. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. So now let's go ahead. Let's jump into this one here a little bit. Because I want to keep it on the theme of this rude speech or whatnot, right? Because the most high get down. And y'all got to see that everything, when it comes from us, that's bringing these words out, everything's not peaches and cream. It's not. And y'all got to get out of that mentality. There are times when we are going to have to turn things up. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just how it goes. Sorry, guys. It's just how it is. All right. So now let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 17, please. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 17. Let's go ahead and read this. For Christ sent me not to baptize, 
but to preach the gospel, not with wisdom of words, lest the cross of Christ should be made of none effect. Not with the wisdom of words. So even Yahweh Shai was like, uh, yo, there's going to be times you're going to get turned up on these niggas. Yep, Yahweh Shai said that. So if I'm not to use words of wisdom, then what are the words I'm supposed to be using? <laughs> yep. Because when it comes to our people, you got to get turned up on our people. You know who else said this? You know who else? Charleston White. Charleston White made a very, he made an excellent point because believe it or not, with that brother, that brother is that that man is legitimately for his people. That man for years, all throughout the 90s, that brother have stood in front of legislation. I mean, because I know that that brother, I don't want to get into that. That brother has dealt with legislation since the 90s, since the 90s. Nobody knew. Nobody knew this man's name when he tried to go up there and speak intelligently and all that. Nobody listened. But it wasn't until that nigga started acting ignorant is when everybody started paying him attention. And he called that out not just not that long ago. Not that long ago. And I was about to get into that man's history. But like I said, that's a whole thing on its own because that's where that will go. And I don't, I don't want to do that. All right. But even Yahweh Shai said the same thing. Said the very same thing. And that's how it has to be for our people, man. And it's, it's ridiculous that it has to be that way. But as we know, it's necessary. All right. Ephesians chapter three and verse four, family, the book of Ephesians chapter three and verse four. Here it is. And it reads. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Let's read that again. Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Guys, y'all got to understand because Yahweh Shai, remember, he spoke in parables. And there was a lot of times when Yahweh Shai was telling us, yo. You got to put your foot in these niggas asses, man, because they don't listen. They don't. Again, guys, this is coming from the man that we all say and claim that we are going to follow. You don't think they have problems out there in the wilderness? Did not Judas walk amongst the twelve? How many Judases was last week that we saw? How many? How many? And again, guys, I stress all of that from doing the right thing. All of that for doing the right thing, persecuted for doing the right thing, just like this Bible says, would happen. <laughs> the Bible also tells us that bring this word out. Be a living sacrifice for the people. And that's why I do not mind throwing myself out there in front of this type of stuff like that, because you get to see this Bible come through life through me. It is an honor for me to do that, an absolute honor. And I don't mind it because when, you know, some people, they may get beat up or whatnot, you know, and they, you know, come on, you know, all that shit. I'm the type of nigga I get punched and I'll be laughing. <laughs> I get punched and beat up. That's just the type of person that I am. That's just me. I'll sit up there and take it. As long as the point is being made, I'll stand there and take it. And I'll do it for the most high all day long. <laughs> yeah, because none of you can deny what happened. Nobody can. No one can. All right. Now let's go to the next. Uh, let's go now to the book of 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 2. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 2. Let's see what this says. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty not walking in craftiness, not handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. That's exactly what I did last week. I'm bringing all these scriptures out that prove what I did last week. I came right in front of people, made myself a sacrifice or whatever. And I openly can tell you about all the things I did. Why? Because I actually did them. I actually did them. Let me tell you about one that I did last week. I labeled the name of that lesson thieves, not once, but twice. I'm about to get into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I labeled it thieves. Why? Because I prophesied that last week was going to get stolen from me. And what happened? It did. I prophesied it so good that I said it at the beginning of the video. What happened? It did. 
I said that everybody's going to be coming at me or whatever for doing the right thing. What happened? It did. <laughs> you got to remember, I still have to prove to you that I am what I am. Don't be mad that I do it. Don't be upset with me that I do it. I just have to put it out there. Why? As we as these scriptures come out, that's what I'm supposed to do. I got to continue to prove myself to you guys. And I, let me read this one more time. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. I do that. Not walking in craftiness. What do I do? I tell y'all about the things that I do. I tell you about the things that I do like I just did here tonight. So there's no craftiness behind it. Right? Okay. Nor handling the word of God deceitfully. I bring this right out, bring precepts, all those things, right? But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. I put myself out there last week. I raised my voice just as the Bible told me to. And what happened? Them niggas came after me. They tore my ass up and I just sat there and laughed at it. <laughs> because everything that I'm reading right now is what happened last week. You can't deny it. Now, let's go. Stay in the book of 2 Corinthians. Go to the next chapter. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11, please. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11. Watch this. Therefore, excuse me, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. So again, I truly hope y'all appreciate what I do. Putting myself out there for you. To allow these things to be made manifest so that you can see that the Bible, when the Most High is talking about these things, he's telling the truth. And what does he do? He allows his prophets to stand in front of the people so that he can say all right now yeah we're gonna do this here right now watch go ahead yo do this say this say this to the people and watch these niggas gonna act up watch okay okay yep all right father you ready yep do it i said what i said last week stirred that pot you can just hear the most highs laugh up there just barreling over you can just hear it if we just sitting down here watching it, it's like, mm, 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 like, wow. I'm sorry, guys. I got to keep looking at this thing to make sure it's still recording, guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, it's just not my normal production. <laughs> but again, like I said, man, we, we have to make sure that we have the right people around us, guys. Clean house. This is also going to happen in the wilderness, too. There's going to be people who thought they made it. And then what's going to happen? <laughs> Head cut right off. No longer needed. Body taken. Thrown. That's going to be happening right along in the wilderness for niggas who thought they made it. Still going to be acting up. They still got that, that, that leaven in them. Still got it. And it's inner. It's inward. The way how people are about their brothers and sisters. You know, they'll sit there. They'll pat you on the back and everything and smile. But up in here, up in here, they hate you. They hate your guts, smiling at you and everything, but they can't stand you. And guess what? The Most High, he revealed a lot of that last week. Yep. And that's why, like I said, when we get rid of all the phonies and everything, then we'll get back to our business. And I need y'all to help me do that, yo. Start revealing these niggas. Get these niggas up out of here because we don't need them. All right. Uh... 2 Corinthians chapter 12, please, family. Let's go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, and let's go down to verse 12. Watch this. <clears throat> Truly, the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience and signs and wonders and mighty deeds. All of these different things, family. Can we talk about this here for a second? We got to go back again to last week. I would love to consider myself to be an apostle of the Most High. And what did I do last week? I said that it would be stolen from me. Why? Because I came and I presented to you guys exactly what this says. I'm going to read it one more time. Truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you, showing you. So I came last week 
and I put a trailer in front of your face. Wrought among you in all patience and signs and wonders and mighty deeds. So I came, I showed y'all what I was able to do. I brought forth to you a fully produced trailer from my talents. Why? Family, the Most High gave us talents because we're supposed to use them. Our talents is supposed to glorify the Most High. So what did I do? An apostle of the Most High came in front of the people to say, you know what? What did I talk about on TRF News? I said that the majority of Israel have plateaued. Plateaued. These lessons, sorry, okay, I gotta keep looking. These lessons and stuff are great. They're great, but they're not enough. These lessons are not enough, guys. They're not. So what do we have to do? We have to start using our talents to glorify the most high. And what is one of the most influential ways to present something to someone is through film, through film. And so I showed you, I gave you many different examples of cinematography all the way down to CGI. Guys, I did all of that by myself. Every last thing that you saw, I did by myself. I did all of that single-handedly, alone. An apostle, let me read it one more time. Truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you in all patience and signs and wonders and mighty deeds. Let's get the definition of wrought. Let's get the definition of wrought. Archaic past and past particle of work. That's what it means. See that? That's what it means. What did I do? I showed you my talent. I showed you my talent because that's one of the talents that God gave me so that I can glorify him better than anybody else ever could. I want to take the Bible and put it on the big screen. And I showed you my work and what I was able to do. We don't need Hollywood. We don't need them niggas. We don't need them. I'm, that's what I'm showing you, these mighty deeds. We don't need them niggas. We don't need them. They're the ones saying that you are not allowed to showcase your talents. I'm coming along and be like, uh, nigga, that's a goddamn lie. That's a lie if I ever heard of one. Because what am I doing now? What, and what did I try to do last week? To come in front of people and show every last one of you that I know what I'm doing when it comes to this. And that I know that there's many of you out there that's better at this than me. And now I need you so that we can put this together. Because doing these lessons are fine. That's great, but it's not enough. We think bigger. I think bigger. I am not a meat and potatoes eating nigga. I'm not. I'm sorry. I want it all. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I said it. I want it all. Because the most high, that's how he meant it for us. For us to have it all. That's how I think. I want what our daddy said is supposed to be for us. But you have people that are just complacent with just doing this. I'm not. I'm not. This is why God gave us these talents. And all I did was bring this, or excuse me, I attempted to bring this in front of you. And like I said, as I prophesied, it was going to be stolen. And it was not the idea, but that opportunity. And it was stolen, not just from me, but also from you. From who? Thieves. Did I lie? Nope, I sure didn't. People were mad because I didn't stick to my conventional ways. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not a conventional man. I'm very unconventional. That's how you gotta be because you're dealing with niggas. Sometimes you gotta uh, sidestep somebody. <laughs> I'm telling you, let them fly back. Oh, 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 you know, let them fly. Yep. <laughs> like you was never meant to be caught, nigga. Don't get mad at me. All right, so that was that. So now let's go to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21. The book, I mean, it should be 1 Corinthians, not 2nd. 1 Corinthians, it's still recording. 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 1 verse 21. And it reads, 
For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. I hope y'all understand that. I truly do. Let's read that again. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. Because there's so many niggas around here thinking they know what they're talking about and, and they don't. It pleased God by the foolishness. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. <laughs> you see, family, I'm telling you, this is real. Let me go back to talking a little bit. Actors. Actresses, makeup, hair people, beauticians, cameramen, audio people. I need you. It's time for you to start using your talents. It's time. Why are you not able to live out your dreams? No white man's gonna tell you that you can't. We create our opportunities. I'm a visionary. I create opportunities. I'm a God I create. So are you. There's so many of you that's so much better at things that I can do. There are so many of you out there that are rock stars and it's time that you come to the forefront. Why? Because it's necessary. God gave you that talent for a reason. He gave you that talent so that you can use it. That's why he gave it to you. And I'm calling you out to bring that talent in front of Israel. There is not enough positive images of us about this book. I can't even really tell you that there aren't many of any images of us about this book. And this book is about us. Who do you think was supposed to change that? Don't y'all know that the most high in these scriptures talked about how they were going to change the appearance of the people of the book. It's called iconoclasm. We're the ones responsible for changing it back. But what happened? What happened? I attempt to do that. Niggas get mad. Call me a thief and all type of shit. <laughs> Said I'm just like a Christian pastor. Do you know how much it takes to make a movie? Niggas showed they ass over 15 grand. No wonder why black people don't advance about shit. We are, we are our own detriment. We are our own detriment and you can't deny it. Our people kill so many fucking dreams. You're not going to kill mine. You can't. You can't kill mine. My dream is to have you present this Bible on the big screen. You can't and won't kill my dream because my dream glorifies him. I want him glorified at the absolute best expense. I want your best. Remember when Cain and Abel stood in front of the Most High? Remember? The Most High. All right, it's still recording. I hate that I got to do that. The Most High. He said, I want your best. And that's all the fuck I'm coming after. I'm coming after the best. 
because we are the best. And when I come with that best type of attitude and I come to elevate our people, what happened? No, 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 no. I want to remain a fucking slave. No, I don't want to elevate. I don't want to be elevated. No, Mike, sit the fuck down, Mike. Sit down, sit down. No, we don't want that, Mike. Just, just, Mike, just give us the bare minimum. Fuck that. I'm not a bare minimum nigga because my God is not a bare minimum. And he didn't say that we are supposed to accept the bare minimum nigga. No, no. I will only accept greatness because that is all my people are. My people are greatness and I am not accepting bullshit anymore. Done. And guess what? I can do that. I'm a God. I said it and it will manifest. Nigga, don't play with me. I know who I am. I know who I am. And I know who you are. And we got to make this happen. We got to make this happen. Guys, I'm all about this business. I'm all about the most highs business. So I'm telling you right now, my mind is to explode and elevate this family. So if you're not with that, then yo, you got to go about your business. And again, I'm making this clear, a divorce has to happen. From all of you that are not with that, I need y'all to get the fuck away from me. I need you to get the fuck away from this family. I need you to bounce, I need you to go. Because I'm taking this family to heights that the Israelites have never seen before. I'm saying it, I'm calling it, I'm a God, I manifest, and I know it's gonna happen because it's being done for him and if you're not on that boat then guess what your ass is gonna sink and ain't nobody coming to save you either that's the message right there but we had to make that shit known that every time somebody steps up to do something you're gonna have niggas that's gonna show their ass and they did and they did that shit on a small scale of fifteen thousand damn dollars can you believe that Straight up, niggas showed they ass over that amount of money, 15 damn grand. I was talking to one of my brothers and he said some of the funniest shit that I ever heard. He said, do you know in the world that was a unrighteous weekend for me? <laughs> He's like, nigga, that ain't shit. 15, and, and it's not. $15,000 ain't shit. And niggas showed they ass over that amount, over that over gathering together. Can you imagine if that, if those type of attitudes was on the set of a movie, it would never get done. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. How do y'all know I'm telling the truth? Because I put the evidence in front of you first. So now when I say all of this, I can speak from right here and there'd be absolutely no problem whatsoever. None whatsoever. Let, let's, let's, let's get a little, little bit more Bible. Let's get a little bit more Bible, baby. <laughs> all right so now first corinthians chapter two let's go to verse one let's start at verse one set first corinthians chapter two and verse one y'all understand why a lot of these niggas be like yo don't be reading the new testament don't read the new testament don't don't, don't read that to them niggas y'all get it now all right okay first corinthians chapter two verse one and i brethren when i came to you came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in trembling. So Paul is like, yo, I came to y'all after all of that shit that happened with Yahweh Shai because they beat the living shit out of Yahweh Shai, beat him all the way down to the bone. You saw his bones, you saw the bones in his head. They put a spike crown on this man. They did all this to, all this to Yahweh Shai. They tore Yahweh Shai a new one and guess what? He stood right there and Yahweh Shai was only there to help the people. And what happened, just like Yahweh Shai said, he said, remember if they hate you, remember they hated me first. And that's why I didn't complain about what happened last week. I didn't complain about shit. 
I'm just sitting up here talking shit now because it happened and I, and, it, and it did. It happened and that's exactly what y'all did to me. And I am not to be upset about none of that shit. Why? Because Yahweh Shai said, yo, they did it to me first, nigga. So what the fuck are you supposed to be mad about? Not a damn thing. That's why I was laughing my ass off because I'm like, I listened to my big brother. I heard exactly what he said and that is exactly what they did. That's just the truth, guys. That's the absolute truth. And so many people look at me and they be like, I'm still looking. So many people look at me, you know, they look at my face and they're like, this, this little asshole is so condescending. And <laughs> I'm laughing at it. It's funny because that's what you did for every person that was guilty of that shit. That's what you did. And again, give honor and honor is due to all of you, to every last one of you that contributed and got that number where it was supposed to be. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I can easily say this. Why do I have to yell to get you guys to do that? Why did not? Why was that not your first initiative for it to come from your heart? Like for all of the people that donated prior to that, that all came from their heart. All of that. Not saying that it didn't come from the heart from people that did it afterwards, but those people there, they were not procrastinators. They did it instantly, instantly. But it just goes to show that the support that people say that the royal family have is truly not there because people give lip service. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yep, it's still going. All right, good. Okay. So now I'm going to read this one right here. Let's go to the book of 2 Peter, guys. 2 Peter chapter 3. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3. Let's go down to verse 15, please. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 15. All right, here we go. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them these things, in which are some things, excuse me, in which some things are hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, and they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Do y'all understand that? So many people read that right there and was like, oh, you see, Paul's, his, his writings is so hard. And they know that's not what he's saying. He's saying that it's hard to people that don't understand what the hell is going on. That's what it's saying. Many people last week, they had no idea what was going on. And they reacted violently, cruelly, defensively, and they had no idea what was going on. All I did was come out was like, yo, guys, that number was not supposed to look like that. And them niggas went ape shits. <laughs> went complete ape shits. All because I said, guys, that number's not supposed to look like that. Y'all know that. What I was saying last week, guys, we are the greatest people in the world and we're not supposed to look like that, guys. What's going on? You know what the truth is? A lot of you are cool and complacent and completely ex accepting that we are the people without having the benefits. You're just happy knowing that it's us. That's not what this Bible is about. The father said that we're supposed to take these things. We're supposed to. We're supposed to be running this world. We're supposed to be running it, but many of you are happy at the idea that we're just supposed to be running it and not actually running it, guys. We're supposed to be running the world. But that's the attitude that many of us righteous people have to deal with. We have to deal with people that are complacent with the bare minimum. And that's unfortunately the majority of our people. All they want is the minimum. God speaks in maximum. The devil speaks minimally. The devil tries to create on a minimal scale what God has already created on a maximum scale. And that's why he will always lose. Because even Satan does not have your mind of greatness 
he does not have it because it was not given to him. But he has surely convinced a lot of people to think just like him. And it all showed last week. Everybody showed their ass last week. That's just the truth. And I put the evidence in front of you guys. I love you. Have a wonderful Sabbath.